Unlike woven fabrics, knits do not unravel and seams do not require finishing the way seams and wovens do. Because knit fabrics have stretch, the stitch you select must also have stretch to avoid seams popping when the garment is worn. Sewing patterns for knit fabrics often use a seam allowance of 1 quarter inch, 6 millimeters, rather than the customary 5 eighths inch or 1 centimeter. Check your pattern instructions. Knit seams use the narrower seam allowance because knits have a tendency to curl at the edges. The seam allowances curl in this seam, sewn at 5 eighths inch. The same seam, trimmed and pressed to one side, lays flat. If your pattern calls for a wider seam allowance, such as 5 eighths of an inch, trim it down to 1 quarter inch after you have finished stitching the seam. Choose ballpoint, also known as jersey needles, for both sewing and serging. Ballpoint needles have a rounder tip that does not harm the threads of knit fabrics and avoids skipped stitches. A serger stitch has built-in flexibility and is perfect for knit seams. A serger naturally creates a stitch with about one quarter inch seam allowance. To serge most structural seams, use a four thread overlock stitch. Generally, the heavier the fabric, the longer the stitch length and the wider the stitch you will use. For seams that need more stretch, such as necklines, waistbands, and cuffs, use a three-thread overlock stitch. The three-thread stitch has more give than a four-thread stitch. If you are sewing knits using a conventional machine, avoid using a straight stitch because the seams will pop when worn. You can use the ladder stitch if your machine has it. Choose a wide stitch width such as 5.0 and a fairly long stitch length, say 3.0 or 3.5. Stitch a generous 1 quarter inch seam allowance and allow the tips of the ladders to go near the raw edge. There is no need to backstitch. If necessary, you can use the overcast foot to get a cleaner stitch. The overcast foot stabilizes the raw edge as you sew. If your machine has only a zigzag stitch, you can sew what's called a wobble stitch. Choose a zigzag stitch with a long stitch length of 3.0 to 3.5 and a fairly narrow width, about 1.2. This produces a zigzag stitch that is close to a straight stitch but still has some flexibility. If your machine offers only a straight stitch, you can still stitch knit seams. Gently stretch the fabric as you sew. Hold the fabric in front of and behind the presser foot and tug gently but equally on either side as you run it through the feed dogs. The more stretch the fabric has, the more stretch you should apply as you stitch the seam. When the fabric relaxes to normal, the stitch will have leeway to stretch without breaking. After the seam is complete, sew a second line of stitches about an eighth of an inch away from the first, again stretching while you sew. Many modern machines have a stretch stitch. The icon for this stitch looks like a small thunderbolt. I don't recommend this stitch because it is very difficult to rip this stitch if you need to undo it. Knit seams still require pressing to achieve a crisp, even look from the outside. Begin by pressing the seam flat as so. Then fold and press the seam allowances together to one side. On serged seams, the seam allowance tends to fold toward the side with the lower looper threads. After pressing the seam allowance flat, press again on the right side using a seam roll to make the seam look crisp from the outside. Knit seams sewn on the conventional machine press exactly the same way as serger seams. Press as sewn. Press both seams to one side. then press from the right side. For more videos like this one, like and subscribe to my channel.
Find more lessons, techniques, and inspiration on my website, Facebook, and Instagram.